going to do something that generally probably is not the best idea, which is to make a reaction right after a loss. Um, I already got all my frustration out. Um, I want to start by saying uh, good game, Green Bay Packers. They, they took advantage of the mistakes that we made. They took advantage of uh, the injuries we had. That's what good football teams do. They, they attack other teams' weaknesses and I mean, they, they did what they needed to do and they stepped up defensively in the second half, made, made the adjustments. So Green Bay is a very good football team and I think they're going to win the NFC North. And you know, It's pretty clear that they, they've been able to, they bounced back from that Saints game and that was just a mirage. Um, so I'll get that out of the way. I, I said before this game I don't expect the Detroit Lions to win and we knew that there was a big talent shortcoming. You have both your top two corners out, and, you know, it's a disaster. I, I totally – I'm not upset we lost this game because it was going to be extremely hard to win, even with Okuda and Melifon were playing. And without them, it, it's almost impossible. But here's my problem. There's just too many dumb mistakes, too, too much inability of the coaches to try new things, to try to – um, adjust to the situation. Just Lions, in a lot of ways, shot themselves in the foot. Oh, in a second. Lion, yeah, Lions shot themselves in the foot. Um, I want to start off with Aaron Glenn. Aaron Glenn has never called defensive plays before. And there were times after Melifon got hurt, he just decided to play man-to-man -man coverage and we were getting burned. And that was a problem. But that's honestly not my biggest problem I have. The, big prob the biggest problem I have is Aaron Jones, w Jones was absolutely tearing up our entire defense. Aaron Jones was dominating the receiving game. He had three touchdowns today. Jones also had a rushing touchdown. He had four touchdowns in this game. And I can tell you exactly what the problem was. And I I'm going to say his name. It's just a stupid thing. His name is Alex Alzalone. This guy's a liability on this defense. This guy is not fast. This guy can't cover receivers. And you know what? Jamie Collins tonight, he didn't cover receivers at all. I just don't understand you have Reeves Mabin on the bench. But more importantly, Derek Barnes was playing great in the preseason. And maybe maybe Alzalone was playing better than him in practice. And maybe he would have been better than Barnes today. But you know what? When you're getting your butt kicked and Anzalone's getting his butt kicked by the tight end, He's not reading the holes. You gotta say that this isn't acceptable, and you gotta try something different. Aaron Glenn should have been watching. I don't know if he was sitting in the press box or if he was down in the field, but someone should have been watching in the press box. Should have been seeing that Anzalone was having a terrible game, and you make the adjustments. You see if Derek Barnes can make you a sack. You see if Derek Barnes maybe he'll stop that tight end on third and long. That's the problem I have is that Aaron Glenn did not make the personnel adjustments to the situation that was going on. And I'm not saying that if he did, the Lions would have won the game, but it probably would have been closer. We'd probably make that stop on fourth down. Second thing, I think Jared Goff, mixed bag. Here's what I'd say. Jared Goff is a guy with a lot of arm talent. He can make some amazing throws. But the biggest problem I have with him, and the reason why he is not a franchise quarterback, he is not an alpha. He is not a leader. You know, the Packers just scored, it's 21-17, and in the very next drive, you go out there and you fumble the snap. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that was 28-17 or 21-17, but the fact of the matter is, as a quarterback, there's got to be a fire inside of your head saying, we got to get this thing done. And the fact of the matter is, Jared Goff fumbling the snap, fumbling the ball on a throw, he, he kind of just looks tentative out there, almost Charlie Brownish. This guy is not a leader, and is nothing compared to Matthew Stafford as a leader. And you can kind of see why McVay was frustrated with him. He's kind of just, honestly, on the field, he's just kind of there. I mean, he makes good throws. Sometimes he'll make good decisions. But you know what? When, when the going got rough, Jared Goff fell apart. And I don't want to hear about the pressure on him. You know what? He was sacked one time today. The Lions did an excellent job in pass protection for until late in the game. But Jared Goff did not make plays when it mattered. And here's the here's this other problem I have with Jared Goff. Fourth and one, right? You guys probably know what I'm talking about. 
You probably think I'm going to go after Anthony Lynn, and I definitely think we should have ran the football. That was stupid, and that that I think that cost us the game. That ended it right there. That that ended the game right there. But here's my biggest problem. Watch Jared Goff on the play. Brian Greasy points it out perfectly. Jared Goff is locked in on Quintez Cephas because he thinks he can win the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I guarantee you he told Anthony Lynn, hey, Cephas has got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I'm, I'm going to win this thing. And you know what? He was probably right. Cephas had a very good matchup there. But he ran a curl pattern. It was covered beautifully. So you know what you got to do if you're Jared Goff? you got to do what a veteran quarterback does. You look down the field. You go through your progression. Instead, he's just locking in on Cephas, expecting him to be open. Throws a terrible pass. Incomplete. Right there, you got to make a high percentage throw. You have time to throw. You, have, you also have St. Brown wide open on a zig route. you got to hit him. And then, last thing about golf, the delay of game penalties are unacceptable. Just rookie, rookie mistakes from a six-year veteran. I... I know he made good throws tonight, but this guy is not the quarterback of our future. I'm just going to say it straight up right now. Um, I guess my overall reaction to this game is I didn't expect us to win, but I'm very disappointed with the lack of adjustments, lack of personnel decision, or lack of good personnel decisions made by the coaches, lack of inability to try something different. And honestly, the Lions did not stick to the running game when it was working. Clearly on that fourth and one, that... I mean, that's thing, this team just doesn't stick to the running games enough. Lions made some very stupid calls on fourth down, committed some stupid penalties like Oruwariye. Oruwariye is a bust. I'm, I'm sorry. You, he's looking. He's terrible. I'm just going to say it right now. Will Harris, Will Harris will not be on this team next year either. They made stupid mistakes, poor angles, dumb pass interferences, just really, really dumb. It's, it's just, it's not even the fact they're getting beat. It's just dumb plays. That's. That's the part that makes me furious. There's a lot of ways this game could have been closer. And the Lions could have competed. This is... I don't want to be too hard because I understand this is a rebuilding team. But you know what? You can't be making stupid mistakes like that in the NFL. You just can't. Well, that's all I'm going to say. I'm... I'm very disappointed that Derek Barnes didn't get an opportunity to play. I'm disappointed Levi Urzarike didn't get a chance to play. Something's got to change. Like, I understand this is a rebuilding team, and probably it's not going to be good even if we do make the changes, but the fact is you got to make the adjustments. You can't blame your personnel when you don't know what your personnel can do. I don't care that they're rookies. You drafted them high. You drafted Urzarike second in the second round to see what he can do. So let's see what the hell he can do. All right. Thank you all for listening. Y'all have a good night. Take care.